Oh my goodness gracious, what is going on folks? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports talk. I don't know if the camera is good enough to show you guys. Oh, it's, it's looking kind of nasty. What also got nasty this past weekend, something we covered right before a little vacation. Now we are back and thank you guys for still being here. Yes, that being the Warzone controversy involving Nadeshot, his very own event, and that being NRG members versus some FaZe members. The beef continues in the Warzone space. That being Swag versus Isaac, a controversy which continues over to Twitter has now been settled but to br briefly give you guys a TLDR where we started uh, to where we went to where we are now if you guys somehow did not see it it was Nade shot making a, a pretty tough call and uh, by a lot of eyes out there the wrong call in his own event it was Isaac who had actually sabotaged FaZe Swag's teammate that being Booya, using a helicopter which he clarified before the event was actually following the rules shortly after Swag and Booya back out of the match thinking that it was illegal when it was yes well within the rule set to which nade shot made the call to remake the match which a lot of people disagreed with he later took the stream to apologize for the choice he made i want to talk real quickly about what happened with there. swag and booya and isaac and breadman uh so for anybody that's watching the broadcast oh, tweet no. me here in the chat here's here, here's just my perspective so the game started after, round after, three after. or game yep. three of the winners round two Obviously, like one of the most important Jumps. rounds in okay. any tournament that I've ever been a part of, any tournament that I've ever watched. Whoever wins that round, you're automatically guaranteed top three. So, really, a, a, a big match. So, Isaac gets in the helicopter, Booyah jumps in it with him, and Isaac throws the helicopter against the wall, kills Booyah. He goes into the gulag. Booyah then quits the game for whatever reason. I think he didn't understand that sabotaging was allowed that was a mistake on his part he should have never done that he should have never left the game he should have known better and uh from my perspective i i haven't been reading the rules from top to bottom i've just been coming here as a broadcaster and a commentator i am the host though so it is my responsibility so i'd like to apologize for not knowing the rules off rip isaac knew the rules he's been in the discord i have been in that discord where it clearly states that sabotaging is allowed and I, I i just was completely ignorant to it and that is my fault so at the end of the day whether it was me uh who made the ruling or the tournament organizer really what i wanted to see was not game three end within the first minute because booyah left the game he should have never left but it just like from an entertainment Per, like, purposes or perspectives. You to see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to see a game three end yeah, because no, somebody leaves the game yeah. and you don't even get to watch game three unfold. Mm. At the end of the day, though, this is a competitive tournament and there should have never been a replay from my perspective now that I have all the facts and information. So I'd like to extend a personal apology to Isaac and Breadman. And then afterwards, it actually takes to Twitter with Isaac posting an unlisted video back on YouTube about the situation with a, a, a supreme response, especially after what happened to him. This is how you handle a really, really tough moment, like a complete freaking gentleman and a complete class act. And that's where we are. Uh, literally the game before when we just clutched up, talking about how much I respect them. I threw them into a wall. I was talking about how I would throw them into a wall. It's, it's the rules. It's part of 2v2 wagers. It's, it's one of the strats where you can play against each other. And I spoke it into existence. What ended up happening originally, we were going to be passed on to go into the winner's finals, which was guarantee us top three today, $10,000. What ended up happening is Nate Shot stepped in. He later apologized. I don't really care because I'm with their intent. We want a good game three. We lost game three against Swag and Booyah. We, they ended up giving us a three kill advantage, but it was the sweatiest lobby I've ever seen with really tough regains. Uh, Swag clutched up and they ended up winning the game. And so GG's only. They wanted to put on a show. That's what this is all about. And we lost round three fair and square. Ended up going to the losers, uh, beat Aiden and Raided, and then lost to, uh, I believe it was uh, Evan, Super Evan and Biffle. And uh, GG's only placed fourth on the day. So I just wanted to say everything that happened. Once again, nothing but respect for Swag and Booyah. Um, all good on Nate Shots. And he wants to put on a show for his tournament. And, um, you know, come back better tomorrow. But then it continued for a little while. At this point, uh, we had already put out the initial video about this, but it continued a little bit of back and forth. A series of tweets out there, which have now rightfully been deleted, so can only recover a few of them for all of you guys. But clearly there was still a bit of tension between Swag and Isaac after, uh, after the event um, that did unravel. As it was actually Swag responding, saying they didn't count this as a win, Isaac then goes, my issue is you and your boys calling me a ratty and scummy player on stream for a common 2v2 
2 tactic. We got the reset, rules were clarified, and you were the better player at the end of the day. Why drag my name through the mud like that? Then Swag lastly goes, so you're going to grab a clip without context to do what? And that is ratty to me. I don't give a frick if it's a wager strat or not. Give me your PP. A line that will now go in Warzone history. G give me your PayPal is, is what he meant. I'll give you my winnings if that's how you wanted to win. One of the probably many clips, I'm only going to show you guys one of what Isaac was referring to, is in this clip I'm going to show for you, it's actually Swag's teammate Booyah calling that tactic scummy, calling what Isaac did scummy. I mean, I, no one had any kills. Like, it, why don't we just play it again? Like, I don't know why it's OD. No one had any kills. Bro, you gotta be so fucking scummy to throw somebody into the wall. Like, what? Well, it's just like, it's like a scenario. Yeah, how, let's say, let's, say, you let's say you're trying to get a loadout. So you throw a heli at somebody who's trying to get a loadout and they die. Is that not the same scenario type shit? And then finally, after all of that, the tweets were posted and then being deleted and you guys thankfully were sending them to me and I was like, what's going on? I'm trying to have this seltzer and, and get on a flight. And then finally, it's actually Isaac posting lastly to Twitter. As he says, nothing but respect for Swag and Booyah. They squashed bad energy towards me and Breadman all day and played an incredible tournament. We handled any minor discrepancies in the DMs or Discord calls. GG's only, to which Swag did respond, saying GG's Brody. So by the end of the day, the mistake was made by the event. Some might say by Nade Shot, he was obviously really really upset with the choice he did make live on air which again put yourself in tough shoes evidently these two go back and forth and yes the rematch was had to which swag and booyah did win and isaac and luckily bread man were still compensated directly by nade shot over 4k each in bitcoin i was told by isaac and of course nade shot also further clarified and yes then you got some beef back and forth which apparently has been cleared away what what a wild event, huh? Could you ask for more headlines from a single Warzone event out there? We will see what happens in future Warzone events as so many creators and streamers are, keep on landing them. So hopefully the drama and the controversy dies down a little bit, but I, I will say it certainly added a little spice to this one. What do you guys think of the entire situation? It's next time though, as per usual, all right? Go, go to your local kitchen. That's not what I wanted to say, uh, go to your kitchen, grab a drink, all right? Sit back, relax, and, uh, and enjoy some videos, all right? I'll catch you back here sometime soon. Until then, you take care of yourselves, all right? <laughs>